I feel like this is the start of a whole other video. Finding a treasure map in an old envelope. So creepy. Why is there a bag of bones? Oh, hello again. I know it's been a really long time. I apologize. Whoa, hello. <laughs> I got appendicitis, so I actually don't have an appendix anymore. That was an unfortunate event after, you know, given the fire, the earthquake, we lost power for a while. But anyways, I'm back. And as you can tell, some new additions to the Cerro Gordo family. <laughs> we got some goats. Uh, this is Elon. Ow, Elon. This is Tofu. Hello, Tofu. This is Bubba. <laughs> this is Beretta. Hey, hey, guys, guys, come on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to film here, Elon. Ow. Shit, my appendix. <laughs> uh, anyways, I want to keep catching you guys up with some of the projects we've been doing. Obviously, the hotel's been a big project, but I finally want to show you some of the things I found in the general store to clean that out. I found probably the coolest thing. Ow! Ow! I probably found the coolest things I've ever found at Cerro Gordo in the whole, whole general store. I found this briefcase with documents that I just have to show you guys. These are things that are going to lead to all sorts of new videos and excursions, I'm sure. Can't wait to jump into this thing and hopefully show you guys some more regular updates now that, you know, knock on wood, health issues are aside. The original general store at Cerro Gordo. This is right in the center of town, and it's something that I have been spending an awful lot amount of time on. You come in, these are the original shelves, the original bar that they would sell stuff, you know, and kind of curated some of the old stuff. You know, miners, axes, dynamite boxes, more dynamite boxes. Walk back here, this is the museum. So these are all artifacts. As I go through mines and I find stuff, this is antique dust, 1865 originally. These pocket watches people would drop all the time as they would go through the different mines. We got knives, old bottles, more bottles, bullets, horseshoes, fossils. They even have fossils on the property and all sorts of different things. Chinese coins from all the Chinese workers and some boxes. And a thing of mercury. Look at these guys. That's some people down at the 900 level of the mine. What always gets me is this guy. He's in a suit. Totally fresh, you know? Just casually chilling. 900 feet down in a mine in a suit. The infamous briefcase I found that contains all sorts of crazy documents. It is something that I've never found anything even close to like this. Being up here for two years, I found all sorts of stuff, but the stuff in here, I'll go through it in more detail, but just checks from 1926. You know, letters, stamps. I mean, it's bank statements. There's deeds in here. It is the craziest find I've made here yet. And I think it's gonna lead to all sorts of new adventures. There's things in there that I found that are gonna lead me on all sorts of paths and I hope maybe, you know, YouTube can help me track down some of the things in here, including some of the names. You know, there's three main miners that are in this briefcase and I'd love to be able to find them, you know, however we can. Um, I have their names. I know obviously they were at Cerro Gordo and Keeler and Lone Pine. And maybe we can get some of these documents back to their descendants. I think that'd be kind of a cool use of uh, YouTube and the internet. It was wrapped in a blanket hidden underneath a part of the museum that hadn't been explored in decades. And as I was cleaning it out, it was wrapped in a blanket under the shelf. And as I pulled it out, there's just tons and tons of letters in here. And this is, just, it's awesome. You know, this is the highs, the lows, the hopes, the dreams, the everything of a few miners. The three people we're looking for are Mr. J.D. Leary of Keeler, California. Looks like he was active around 1930s. So if anybody knows anything about Leary's in Keeler. Chet or Chester Reynolds, who was about in the 50s, who had a company apparently called Anaconda Copper Mining. He has a lot of lawsuits and different things. If anybody has any way to get in touch with him, that would be interesting. Or 
Andrew or Josephine Carothers from Lone Pine, and they were from the 50s as well. But those are the three names, Carothers, Reynolds, and Leary. And this box has tons of documents for them, so I'd love to figure out a way to maybe get this to some of their relatives or descendants. I have a letter here from the Utah Junk Company, 1934, for Mr. Leary. That's him trying to sell some zinc. It says, Dear Sir, I received your favor of the 4th and was very glad to hear from you again. With Spelter at 440 at St. Louis, I do not think it would be profitable for you to ship zinc ore so far. However, for your shipment to Bar Bartersville, I could pay you as follows. Pay 87% for zinc contest, less 17 and a half cents, less a treatment of $15, $15 per ton. This rate would maybe 1588 delivered to Bartersville. I would be glad to have you advise if you will do you any good and how long it would take to ship 200 tons. With best wishes, I remain yours very truly, JD Foreman and Company from the Utah Jazz Junk Company. So basically, Mr. Leary was trying to sell some of his ore. 200 tons, can you imagine shipping that much? It's crazy. The letter. Dear friends. Oh. Whoa, it's a treasure map. Look at that. What? He was writing his friends where the ore was. Signboard by Hunter's Point, road, house. <laughs> I feel like this is the start of a whole other video. Finding a treasure map in an old envelope. I feel like movies started that way. I gotta read this in more detail. Plus, I don't want you guys stealing my treasure, so maybe read this in private. That is crazy. Who's it from? Doesn't say. Well, I'm gonna go take a look at that and we'll get back to this little box in a minute because if I have a little treasure map, that will be okay. We'll put this one over here. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks so much for following along, you know, being part of the adventure. Hopefully we can uh, track down some of these things that I found in that, ow, Elon, found in that uh, briefcase in the, in the general store um, and keep you up to date with all the projects with the hotel and all the other renovations. And you know, obviously the growth of these guys as they get bigger and bigger. But uh, again, thanks as always. If you really wanna support the town, please subscribe to this channel, leave a comment or other things you'd like to see, uh, donate to our GoFundMe, grab a bandana out of our store. But I can't wait to see you guys next time and I promise, you know, well, knock on wood, I'm, I will be more regular with these. Hopefully the health issues are, are gone now and uh, we can kind of focus on, you know, moving forward. But anyways, until next time, signing out here at Cerro Gordo. All right guys, time to go. That's it.